Microsoft launches $100 million development center in Lagos, Nigeria. Microsoft, a multinational technology company based in the United States that manufactures computer software, consumer electronics, personal computers, and other products, has opened its first African development center in Lagos, Nigeria. The center, which is expected to cost $100 million and will be located at 24 Glover Road in Ikoi, Lagos, Nigeria, will be Microsoft's top engineering center, where world-class African talent will be able to create solutions with local and global impact. It is also a center where software engineering solutions are expected to be delivered to Africa. Microsoft opened its first Africa development centers in Lagos and Nairobi in 2019. According to information obtained by Business Insider Africa, the initiative costs the tech behemoth more than $100 million to develop. The tech titan has now expanded by acquiring a new location in Lagos Ecoe neighborhood. On Monday, March 21, 2022, Microsoft opened its first Africa Development Center, a DC, in Lagos, Nigeria. According to Business Insider Africa, the tech behemoth spent $100 million on the initiative in 2019. The mission of the Africa Development Center is to support the development of technological solutions that address both African and global issues. Microsoft Teams working on product engineering, ecosystem development, innovation, and the Microsoft Garage will be based in ECOE, Lagos, at the King Towers. Hello, and welcome to Africa Reloaded. Today, we bring you the announcement of Microsoft's $100 million development center in Lagos, Nigeria. Stay tuned as we learn more about the center and its benefits for Nigeria and Africa in general. The African Development Center, a DC, is Microsoft's plan for an engineering center in Africa that will provide local solutions with global scalability while also creating jobs and advancing technical innovation on the continent. The company announced at the inaugural event that the product engineering, ecosystem development, and innovation teams will now be housed at the firm's new ultra-modern state-of-the-art facility at the King's Towers on Glover Road, ECOE. The new ADC building will house the Microsoft Garage, a new entity formed as part of ongoing efforts to expand innovation in the ICT industry. The event was attended by Issa Pantami, the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Kashifu Inua, the Director General of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, and Babajide Sanwo Alu, the Governor of Lagos State. Pantami lauded the achievement, claiming that it solidifies Nigeria's position as a major regional digital innovation engine and puts the country on track to become Africa's largest digital economy. I joined several Nigerians and Lagosians today in applauding Microsoft's commitment to developing technology in our state and country through this state-of-the-art seven-floor facility, which will improve employment and also significantly contribute to the training and rise of many tech giants in Nigeria. Sanmo Alu, who was represented at the event by Hakim Fam, Commissioner of Science and Technology, said. According to Gafar Lal, Managing Director of a DC West Africa, the facility will support the company's efforts to train, equip, and hire engineering talent in Nigeria and across West Africa. He claimed that this would help create Microsoft products that are used by over 1 billion devices worldwide, empowering millions of consumers and organizations to do more. According to Joy Chick, Corporate Vice President of Microsoft's Identity and Network Access Engineering Team, the ADC currently employs 120 engineers and more than 200 people in Nigeria. We will definitely hire more engineering expertise, Chick added, citing positive feedback from engineering leads working with Nigerian teams. We will continue to emphasize student and community involvement as well as investments in Microsoft programs to help us grow a diverse team of smart men and women, the company says. Aim of the Center Microsoft's investment demonstrates the continent's growing importance as a global talent magnet. Mr. Michael Fortin, Corporate Vice President of Microsoft, 
stated during the launch that the company's main goal is to recruit exceptional engineering talent and provide them with the opportunity to work on the most cutting-edge technologies suitable for the country and the rest of the world. He went on to say that by doing so, engineers will be able to do important work from their home countries while remaining connected to a global engineering and development firm. This is fantastic news not only for Nigeria, but for Africa as a whole. And it's worth noting that this is Microsoft's first development center on the continent. It was announced at the event that Nigerian university graduates will have access to the center to pursue careers in data science, mixed reality, AI, and other fields. It may be of interest to you that the center has also supported projects that use emerging technology to solve national problems in areas such as agriculture, energy, and education. They already have a plan in place to address some of the country's technological challenges. Benefits of the Center According to available information, President Muhammadu Buhari's administration has formed a partnership with Bill Gates to create over 27,000 jobs for Nigerian technologists. This is a remarkable achievement for the Buhari administration. Given Nigeria's high unemployment rate, this center would aid in reducing the number of unemployed youth in the country by keeping them occupied and away from violence and other vices. Despite its negative image, Africa continues to be a source of investment for major corporations. With Nigeria's thriving tech environment, this groundbreaking project will aid in the acceleration of digital transformation not only in Nigeria, but also across Africa, as well as the delivery of cutting-edge digital solutions. The opening of the center demonstrates that the global technology industry has carefully monitored the country as a leading tech behemoth on the African continent and has determined it to be a worthwhile partner. This relationship with Nigeria would increase the number of investors in the country, which would boost the economy. It is worth noting that Nigeria has a young population that is known for its creativity and originality, which explains why the country leads the continent in many areas. As of January 2022, there were seven unicorns on the African continent, with five of them originating in Nigeria. Nigerian startups have long dominated the continent, so this partnership with Microsoft comes as no surprise. Other tech firms, I believe, are watching Nigeria's pioneering achievements and will not be hesitant to invest in the country's expanding tech sector. As a result of their collaboration, more multinational corporations will follow Microsoft's lead and invest in the country. This center is a huge relief and blessing for Africa, especially because it will train and employ thousands of young people in the computer engineering sector. As a result, the rate of unemployment will fall dramatically, improving people's living standards. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates.